G'day and welcome to Dark Solid Gaming and another Farming Simulator 19 mod review. Today we are reviewing the Fort Schritt E303 mower. This is a new mod that's available in the in-game mod hub or available on the Giants mod website. Okay, so this mod is created by AAA Modding and it's a big A it's a or little m it's it's basically the the smaller older brother of the big m that i certainly like to use uh, and this is just a fantastic little mower and uh i thoroughly recommend it especially for those that are doing the smaller maps things like possibly marble manor farm uh, meadow grove farm is coming out soon all those sorts of things or those that want to start out uh, on hard mode and also those that just want some of the older equipment um so let's, uh, without further delay, get into it and have a bit of a look, and then we'll go and see how it actually operates. So we'll go into the store. Now, the actual mower itself is under mowers, as you can see here, the E303. Now, it's not really that cheap. I mean, it's $105,000 to buy. Uh, it runs at 30 kilometers per hour um, and has an 80 horsepower engine in it, as uh, compared to the Chrome BM, 57 kilometers per hour, 449 horsepower 9.9 .9 meters in width um, this is obviously the baby really but uh, but it does the job all right so if we go on the options what options do we have all right so the only options we have here under configuration well we do have rim color options so we have white rims we have a soft what do you call that a soft green and then we have a yellowy green rim color um, the options you have here under the configuration is your color options basically. So you have an E303 in what they call brown. Now I mean I call that more of a green than a brown, but more of an olive. But that's okay. We then have what they call E303 green. We then have the green and white. So it has the green chassis and then the white cabin. And then we have the standard, which is the, the nice sky blue and the white cabin which i believe are the standard sort of colors on the fort strip um as you've seen on combine harvesters and all that sort of stuff going back in farming simulator 17 and prior to that so there are the options now each of these options are exactly the same price there's no differential in the price for whatever color you get so that's uh that's nice to see um so the base price for it is uh dollars, as we said the base cost is 2100 for leasing Operating per hour is 2,205 and per day 1,050. So the initial leasing cost will be 5,355. So it's not a bad option for leasing. All right, now let's go have a look at where the headers lay. Now the headers are actually in the tools area under mowers. And we scroll across to here and we find the E025 header. Now it has its own attached trailer. So basically that just folds up. Uh, much akin to some of the draper headers for the combine harvesters. Now you have no options in here at all other than the colors. So the color choices you have for the rim are the same as the actual E303 itself. You have the white, you have the light green, and then you have that olive drab yellow, whatever the hell you want to call that. Uh, main color, you then have the blue, what they call the brown, or I call an olive green, and then the other green as well. Okay. That's all there is to it. Nice and simple, effective. Let's go see how it actually works in the game itself. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take out uh, the blue and white unit here. I'll have a look in cab. It's gonna be sparse anyway, because it is a lot older vehicle, but the cabin details and all that are quite good. Uh, it's not as if it's really poorly laid out or very poor textures, it's not too bad. We'll uh, jump out there. We'll start the engine. Okay, cuts along, and off we go. All right. Well, what we'll do is we're just going to grab the green header up here because it's just easy to get to. We'll grab the header and we'll head off over to find some grass. On the brick wall. All right. Over the railway line here, we'll just mow this grass that's over here. All right. 
I'm just going to try it with our Q key. Reverse up. Come into the header. Q to connect the header. And then to fold the header, it's X. Holds the wheels away. We're then going to lower the header and raise the header with V. Works fine. To operate the combine or the mower, we press the B button. One thing you will note, the engine revs increase, which is good. You get more exhaust um, smoke, which is good. It's a good, good little touch. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to position ourselves here. We're going to lower the header. And off we go. And there we have it. So we get a nice windrow out from the back of the out from the back of the mower, and it does the job perfectly. And that's all we want from something like this. It's only very basic, but it's practical, and that's the most important aspect of it. So there we go. That is it. That is the Fortschritt E303 mower, and it's available as I said before on the in-game mod hub. Thanks to AAA Modding for putting it into the mod into the mod hub for all of us to actually use. And uh, don't forget to go off and give it a like if you do like it and use it. Um, I'm sure AAA Modding would be appreciative of that. Anyway, if you liked the episode, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to press that notification alarm icon so as you get notified when more mod reviews, let's plays, and all that are available. And until next time, this is Ducks Orly. Wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you are in the world. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you all later. Thanks much. Bye.